Now this is Commonwealth Towers. We are heading up to a fantastic two-bedroom on a very high floor. Within this very two distinct buildings, hotel-like kind of facade. The price. Follow property numbers on this Commonwealth Towers home tour. Let's go. We definitely need to talk about the location. So let's bring out the map and have a look at where Commonwealth Towers is. Just 120 meters from Queenstown MRT Station. It opens up directly from its side gate to the entrance of the MRT station. Next up will be Commonwealth followed by Buena Vista. And of course, that's the intersection towards the circle line that will then further bring you down towards Labrador as well as Harbour Front. If you head up, oh, that will bring you towards Holland Village. If you head further towards the east side, Red Hill followed by Tiong Baru. One of the things you will notice is that Commonwealth Towers is one of the projects that's being wrapped around by all the million dollars HDB properties starting from the far right Sky Park, Sky Terrace, Sky View, Sky Oasis, Sky Residences, Stratmore Enclave, Sterling Enclave and Mailing Street Enclave. To give you a little bit of a backdrop of how condos evolve around this particular nice enclave right here. The first project, the Queen's TOP in 2002, followed on by Commonwealth Towers 2017. And then in 2020, you have Queen's Peak. And then we have Margaret Vale, just reached its TOP 2021. Sterling Residence got the TOP in 2022. So this forms a very nice triangle here. If you're looking particularly for huge size condominiums, these five are definitely some of the key ones for you to look at. The poison goes through my head, trying to strike me down till I'm dead. They have spending close to about 15 20,000 to renovate the place when they first bought it. So the shoe cabinet is tucked right along this wall line. A nice size four seater round table sitting right here. This is the L corner open kitchen concept. And then you have top hung with two different layers. The first layer will be the darker wood finishing that allows you to put in a lot of your kitchen items. And then you have the top layer cabinets, which is pretty interesting. It doesn't really flood the entire place to make it feel very cluttered so you can keep more stuff at the top. And then you have induction cooker, two burner system from brand, bottom oven, two door fridge, internal refuse, pretty interesting. You don't have to go out, very easy for your cleaning. A bit of pocket storage right here. That's where your DV box is being located. Because you're close to 30 odd levels, you get this nice clearance across the HDB apartments. This is 689 square feet, 2 bed, 2 bath. And this 2 bed, 2 bath is a little bit different as well because the common bath acts as a Jack and Jill to the second bedroom. So you can use that a little bit like a junior master. So 2 bedder, either you get this very nice L-shaped kind of layout or you get the very traditional longish rectangular layout. 80% of the floor plans here are mainly this L-shaped layout. This L layout, the moment you come in, straight away you can utilize this entire zone. Your kids can also run around a little bit more freely. When we bring out the site plan, either you face the northeast towards the Ripley landed enclave, like where we are situated at right now at stack number seven. And this is along the same facing with the four beta stack, the most premium unit facing. If you look at the unit distribution, out of 845 units, 300 odd of them are the one betas, 200 over units of two betas, about 100 odd units for three bit and three plus yard model. Four betas, there's only one stack. It's time to check out the bedrooms. Let's go. I've lived on day. The walkway, owners have put in movable storage. We like the fact that ceiling height is pretty decent. It goes about 3 meters. And then of course, you have nice track lights that's being installed. ACs are Panasonic. I'm going to show you the master first. Master is great in size. King bed, definitely doable. A nice dresser unit right here that's being done by the owners. Sliding panel, two doors, marble flooring for living, dining, and the bedroom's walkway, as well as both the bathrooms. Solid timber flooring. These are long lasting wood that you can revarnish them along the years as well. Full height panel windows, three openable top hung in this direction that you can push out. And we like the fact that Queenstown also has that nice balance 
of the heritage feel as well as the new rejuvenation. There's going to be a new hawker centre just right here at this corner as well as the new Queenstown Mall that's currently being revamped. And just further down, that'll be IKEA as well as right across the Queensway Shopping Centre. So en suite has a pretty good space because it's done in a very L fashion with its WC being tucked at the corner, standing shower with its rain shower unit built into the ceiling. The walls are done with two tones, marble finishing, darker tone behind the mirrors, lighter tone throughout the flooring and the vanity top, two pull-out storage right at the corner as well. So flip over, the common bath is nicely tucked as a Jack and Jill kind of concept towards the common bedroom. Common bedroom is currently being done with a built-in study console unit or work from home office console unit with nice matte finishing top hung carpentry and a full length carpentry on the left hand side. If I were to remove this, let me throw in a render for you. You can put in a queen bed with two side tables and the wardrobe is actually tucked within the wall line. It doesn't jut out into your space. When we look at Commonwealth Towers, this is very suitable for families that are planning to retire, single professionals, young families with one to two children. There's a wide spread of choices for you to select from. What we love is that in future, if you want to exit, uh, HDB enclaves are extremely important. So why is it a game changer? It's because with PRH being introduced, what is going to happen is that this is going to be like the last batch of available million dollar HDB apartments, not under the PRH strict policy. Families can buy them off once it hits its five years MOP period. So the exit audience is extremely important. There are two large pools. One is lab pool on level one, and you have the lifestyle pool. Four sky terraces spread across two towers, basement one, two, three in terms of parking, and you have a full-size tennis court. Facilities are ample. You are also having that luxury of being able to cycle, exiting from the side gate from Commonwealth Tower. This is the Alexandra Linear Park towards the right-hand side, Great World City, Clark Key area towards the Singapore River area. Further west, the Labrador Park area. That's where the future southern waterfront is being located from the right-hand side of a balcony towards the MBS view as well. So that's going to give you the fireworks view over uh, celebrations at different occasions. And we are within these six different apexes. The first apex will be one north where Silicon Valley is, paid upwards towards Holland B, a lot of master plan that is undergoing. And then you have Bukit Timah, the king of schools, head downwards towards Orchard. Couple of stations down, you reach Outram Park, Thompson East Coast Line. You have MBS CBD area, Greater Southern Waterfront, and then we'll come back towards the one north region. Commonwealth Towers, just nicely tucked within the prime hexagon where a lot of price action is going on. This property is asking at a quantum price of $1.5 million, negotiable. Sterling residences, 2,400 plus per square foot for very high floor premium units. When ETOP is next year, we're going to see definitely a lot more price action inching towards the $2,500 per square feet mark. Commonwealth Towers, at this entry price, there'll still be good room to go. New launches, slim barracks, as well as Almokyo and Lantor, they're all going to launch above the $2,000 to $2,200 per square foot band mark. Maintenance, $290 odd dollars per Man. When you look at something that's available right now in the market, ready to move in, ready to go straight on for your family and yourself. $1.5 million negotiable. Good quantum entry price uh, based on a two bed, two bath version. It's not a two bed, one bath. So you're getting good size, close to 700 square feet at $689. If you want to have a look at this place, give us a call. My name is Melvin Lim, Property and Brothers. As always, happy to show the place. And don't forget that we are also on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. Thanks for supporting us over the years. We'll see you soon. Take care. Oh. Oh, wow. Hey. There's a park connector. Oh. So this is a park connector that goes all the way to... The crest uh, there, huh? Yes. The wow. all the way to... Uh, Great World there. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. You can turn into Great World. Correct. Okay. So this is the Riverside mm. Walkway. Mmm. Oh, we can do it at the, that one also. The multi-story top on top. I don't think you can enter that because there is another construction. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, okay.
Skyview and Dawson, Sky Terrace, followed by Sky Park, followed by Sky... What else? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Uh, Around? A little bit like this, um, what is this feature called? So, a little bit like a water bottle. Should I use a water bottle? And then when we flip over with you, um, Joel, let's flip over. And then uh, you have like uh, another space here. Before I forget, I forgot to show the ensuite. Let's flip over, okay? So, 